Alrighty guys, how are you guys doing? Today's Thursday, and that means we are doing Random Thursdays. So, let's get started. Alright, first we have jmomstrum94 writing in saying, Another question, since you seem to be so knowledgeable, uh, would, would be this. How can I convert the souls of gerbils into a combustible liquid fuel? Um, gas has gotten really expensive, and I recently inherited a gerbil farm containing thousands of gerbils. I have already used the furs, meats, and bones, so all that's left is the soul. Thanks. Okay, Josh, so I see where you're coming from here, because um, I also inherited a farm, not a gerbil one, a uh, chipmunk farm. And um, I see you've already used the furs, meats, bones, and all that jazz. I have too. I hope you put to good use as the way I did. Um, so, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a, um, a, a griller that grills raisins. Like, I, I don't know if you've ever seen these before, but they're like a little box type thing with like shelves. They just roast up, um, they roast up grapes and turn them into raisins. You're going to need that and you're going to want to put the sole inside there. And then it should turn into a liquid. And then go to your local creek and or like lake or pond or whatever. Pick up some either um, fish feces, and um, that'll help um, give you an extra oomph in your uh, gas for your car. Or you could just try to find a very um, mo like a big like wet moss like area type thing, and you're just gonna want to put the moss inside of the grill again with the feces, and then you're just gonna want to cook it all up, all those three things, the sole the feces and the well the feces is like a little extra if you need the feces if you want to get farther then go ahead and use that if you don't then just put in the sole and then the um, moss that'll help you out a lot and I've I've actually done this myself but it's a little bit different with a chipmunk so um, that's that next question alrighty RCT2 guy writes in saying my next question for you last Wednesday I was mowing the lawn when I spied what I suspect was a child under my deck. Upon further inspection, he appeared to be either missing or dug back into his underground home. And he asks, what is the best way for flushing out this infant? Alright, RCT2 guy, what you could do is you could, um, you could, there's like a few possibilities that I thought of that you could do. You could get a, um, the Infant Trapper 9000, as you can see on the screen right there. Um, it is, uh, very, very good. I mean, look at it. You can catch up to, like, two to, f two to seven infants in that thing. You could fit, like, a whole army in there. Um, so yeah, you're gonna want to put that out in the middle of your yard. Not under the deck, because then, I mean, it defeats the purpose. Uh, you put it out in your yard, you get, um, lawnmower gasoline. Just dump it on top of it, because, uh, infants are actually attracted to the smell of gasoline. So that's one way you could do it. And you could throw like a little toy in there, some make it want to go in there. Or you could make it look inviting and like decorate it with like lights and like cool decorations. They might just want to be like, oh, hey, where's the party at? And uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so that's one way you could do. Another way is you could, um, you said he's under your deck. So there's, you know how there's like those little like spaces in between the wood paneling on your deck? Take a hose. Um, and just blast it through each and every little crevice. Eventually, the, an infant's worst fear is water. If you if you hit that thing with a hose, whew, it'll it'll send it running around your yard. It, you'll have one insane infant on your hands, which is good because then you can just you know bust out a shotgun, bam, pop him in the head. So yeah, that's uh that's my response to your question. Uh, that's it for this Random Thursday. Um, please, 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 please leave comments for next Random Thursday. I love your guys' ideas, or your, uh, questions for asking me, so that's always good. And, um, yeah, also, for the last video that I uploaded, which is my hundredth video I ever uploaded, thank you guys for those amazing video responses, and just response in general. Um, I'm gonna show you a few clips from the video responses, so, uh, here we go. This one's for me and Drake, so, uh, here we go. 
it amazes me to see how far you've come, and it's just, ugh, love it. <laughs> this is uh, RCT Two Guys' response. Good job. Keep making videos. I think you could be a number one COD star, and I mean the game, not fishing. So uh, keep it up, and good luck uh, on the internet. Oh, God, that was really bad. And this is uh, Josh, or. Uh... Lulz Warrior 4's response. Someday, when I'm a grandfather and my, my children's children are all gathered around my rocking chair, I sit there smoking my pipe and they all look up wide-eyed and say, Grandpa, how did you make your millions and bring us to where we are today? I'm going to look down at them and say, Jimmy edits, dear boys. Jimmy edits. I'm going to let out a long laugh and I'm going to explain to them how you showed me the true ways of life. Just thank you, Brad. I'll always remember you. And no matter how long you keep doing this, be it another ten videos, or another hundred, or another thousand, I'll keep watching. And here's something that the Monolith Films crew put together for me. Happy birthday to you. Alright, I hope you guys liked those. Um, thank you for everyone who responded to that last video. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Jimmy Ites will be up on Saturday, and then the Jimmy Ites after the one on Saturday, which will be on uh, Wednesday. Yeah, we're going to have Jimmy Ites on Wednesday next week because it's Halloween, and that's when uh, Monster Mash is going to happen. So this Saturday we're going to have one, Wednesday we're going to have one, and yeah, besides that, the rest of the video schedules uh, the same. So I will see you guys later. <laughs>